Hi, I'm Michelle Kilroy. I'm very fortunate to be part of the Sustainable Cleveland 2019 Green Building Group, which is comprised of two subgroups, one on advocacy and one on retrofitting. And since our inception at the 2009 summit, our group has set the aggressive goal of retrofitting 25% of all the building stock in Cleveland and the First Ring suburbs. And the reason why it's important is because we all live, work, and play in buildings, and they emit the most carbon dioxide out there. So ultimately, we want to reduce our carbon dioxide emissions in town. Hi, my name is Gwen Forte, and I'm part of Grow Ohio. Grow Ohio's mission is to strengthen and support all aspects of Northeast Ohio's local food economy through marketing, branding, and collaboration. We want to transform to a region where local food is not just a movement shared by a specific set of people, but part of daily life for all members of our community. We want everyone to be able to understand and enjoy the many health, economic, social, environmental, and other benefits of local food. Cleveland Early College High School Environmental Club is working with Sustainable Cleveland 2019 to create a garden that will eventually replace the current processed food in the school cafeteria. My name is Todd Alexander and my group is Tunnel Vision Hoops. We are a for-profit company. Uh, myself, Michael Walton, and Carlton Jackson founded Tunnel Vision Hoops a year and a half ago. And we manufacture, install, as well as design high tunnel hoop houses and other greenhouse components. So basically our mission is to improve the lives of farmers, families, and communities by um, increasing their, their ability to grow year-round and uh, produce food year-round. Uh, and then the, the byproduct of that is hopefully for those farmers and those families that are growing food a happier, less stressful, um, and more enjoyable life. Hi, I'm Tim Smith. I'm Executive Director of Community Greenhouse Partners, and we're a member of the year-round local food group of Sustainable Cleveland 2019. Uh, 2012 is, is the year of local food, and I can't think of a working group that's more appropriate for this organization as a whole than the year-round local food group. We eat every day of the year. We should be growing food every day of the year, but we can't do that with Cleveland's weather, as we all know. We only have seven months to grow. So for that other five months, we need to cover. We need to build greenhouses and hoop houses. We need to build cold frames. We need to make it so that we can cover the 3,000 square feet of empty land that we have so that we can produce the 25% of local food that is the goal of Sustainable Cleveland 2019. We're the Advanced Energy Generation Group. We have over 150 members. We've got Case, NASA, universities, nonprofits, LEADCO, Nordtech. The City of Cleveland has partnered with First Energy Suburbs to install solar panels on businesses and residences, financing this uh, creatively with uh, property assessments. We might be installing the hydrogen station this year or next. We're working on community power, possibly in Bratnall and at the Spring Road Landfill. On the local level, we educate about zoning regulation for solar and wind. On the state level, we encourage additional incentives like the Advanced Energy Fund to promote investment in renewable energy generation. Also, we um, are big cheerleaders for our Ohio Energy Bill, which mandates that 12.5% of the power generated in the state of Ohio comes from renewable sources by 2025. On the federal level, we're working to encourage a federal energy policy so that the United States can be a leader, not only in generation of renewable energy, but also manufacturing. We also make, it make sure everyone understands the importance of contacting your elected officials and tell them to support strong energy policy. Hi, I'm Don Rarico, and I'd like to introduce the Cleveland 2030 District. We're a group of professionals comprised of developers, architects, engineers, contractors, scientists, and lead professionals. Our goal is to create sustainable districts in the Cleveland region where new buildings and major renovations are designed to have 80% less energy consumption than the regional average by the year 2019. And by the year 2030, as in the Cleveland 2030 district, to have new buildings and major renovations designed to be carbon neutral or net zero energy. The goal of the group is to be an information resource and a means for information sharing amongst the design community and building owners to help everyone reach this goal. 
Hi, my name is James Wilson, and I'm a part of the Laboratories for Advanced Energy Commercialization. Our work group has been focused in on taking the laboratory research and actually finding ways to commercialize it. What we've done is we've actually developed an internet-based system that's still in beta that has the potential to go ahead and actually increase jobs and economic security for our region. What we've done is we've taken this advanced topic of these research groups and everything else and put it into a simple approach. And that approach is learn, connect, and collaborate. Hi, my name is Matthew Petro and I'm representing the Zero Waste Northeast Ohio Working Group. The purpose of our group is to help businesses and organizations discover the social, economic, and environmental benefits of waste reduction. Hi, my name is Erin Huber and I'm Director of Drink Local, Drink Tap. Our group was born out of the first Sustainability Summit in Cleveland in 2009. Today, we are now a group focused on reconnecting people with local water here and abroad. Hi, my name is Kelly Rattuno. I'm spokesperson for the, the Water Sustainability Council. And the Water Sustainability Council promotes clean water, responsible public stewardship of our waterways, and sustainable lakefront development. The Sustainable Action Team wants to create a system throughout the city of Cleveland where all modes of transportation are available to everyone and that they can use whatever mode they want safely and conveniently. Hello, I'm Lila Zotner and I'm representing the Reimagining Cleveland Vacant Land Group. I'm here to share our vision and our wins and how you can get involved. So the vision of our Vacant Land Group uh, is that we would like to see every acre of vacant land in the entire city of Cleveland put back into a productive reuse to serve our community and ecosystems. We'd like to see the land serve multiple functions. We'd like to see it capture stormwater to keep our rivers and lake clean. We'd like to see it serve as a place to grow healthy food for all Clevelanders. And most of all, we'd like to see it as a place where Clevelanders can reconnect with their natural environment. Green Dots is looking forward to 2018, the celebration year of vital neighborhoods. We believe in order for sustainable Cleveland to be successful, that all residents must be able to benefit from every aspect of the sustainable movement, from energy efficiency to local food production, clean water, zero waste, renewable resources, and green jobs. We are here to ensure that the residents of our communities are not looked over and that they are able to take advantage of the Cleveland Sustainable Movement. The vision of Green Dots is to connect the dots for education, training, and employment to Cleveland residents so that they can save and make money within the new sustainable economy. Sustainable Cleveland will not be sustainable if the benefits of the new green economy do not reach the residents of Cleveland's neighborhoods. My name is Marie Kittredge with the Vital Neighborhoods Working Group. Vital Neighborhoods is where this sustainability stuff all comes together on the ground. The purpose of our work group is to cultivate neighborhoods of choice where residents are engaged, empowered, resilient, and self-reliant. The more sustainably we live, the more empowered and independent we are because we're saving money and we're doing for ourselves. Hi, my name is David Jerka, and I'm a member of the Communications Resource Group. We respond to the communications needs of the 2019 working groups. Our goal is to enable the success of all 2019 working groups by providing communications materials and guidance. Hi, this is Sadir Ragupathy, Leslie Conwell, and I'm Stephanie House, and we're members of Secure Social Entrepreneurship for Cleveland's Urban Revitalization. Our working group has a vision of providing small business loans through micro lending with the support of everyday citizens to disadvantaged entrepreneurs who operate and create sustainable businesses within the city of Cleveland. One of the real powers of our model is the inclu inclusiveness of the greater community and there are so many ways for the individuals of our community to get involved. And one of the key ways that they can get involved 
is by investing a small amount of money in these enterprises. And as these enterprises succeed, having that money come back to them so they can help more businesses. Um, the opportunity for people to help these businesses become green and help these challenge entrepreneurs revitalize both themselves and their community is really exciting to us. SOMO Leadership is an intentional citywide well-being initiative intended to teach as many people in this town as possible the science of success, well-being, and happiness. Positive psychology is a new field that's burgeoning around the world. The whole of the U.S. Army is learning this today, and you can too. It's kind of akin to going to the gym, but this is for your mind. And it is a process that takes time. You need to come back time and time again to learn little snippets of uh, this cool stuff. Hi, I'm Vicki Poole with Gardens Under Glass. Our work group is Sustainable Business Incubators. Our current project is focusing on developing an eco-village using Gardens Under Glass as the foundation and the gallery as its footprint. Hi, at SDM2, we're connecting across the disciplines of sustainable materials, manufacturing, and design because companies are really overwhelmed when they're embarking on their sustainability journey. Um, so we're trying to give them faster access to the top thinking and resources so they can get down to the business of creating sustainable solutions. Our group primarily does advocacy and education and outreach uh, for sustainable building and we're doing this through a couple different mechanisms. We've got some wins under our belt already. Uh, year one, our advocacy group was uh, very informative and uh, helpful in advancing tax abatement, as well as our primary retrofit group was involved in creating and launching sort of the nucleus of the Northeast Ohio Regional Energy Alliance, which was modeled after our research for a couple different municipalities. And that uh, energy alliance has been partially funded through the Generation Foundation, and we've got a fiscal agent in place, which we're really excited about. Year two, we've got a couple different things going on. Our advocacy group has been involved in reaching out to the First Suburbs Consortium and then we also are part of the Emerald Cities Cleveland Council. Only Midwest City to get the Emerald Cities by the way. And uh, finally we're going to be involved in launching an online tool called the Building Performance Link. And this link is going to showcase different people's success stories uh, for energy, water, waste management. We're going to be able to quantify what's happening out there in our region and build a strong persuasive argument for people why they should go green. Our biggest wins to date include a $65,000 grant from the Ohio Department of Agriculture and the launch of our website, growohio.org. The grant is a collaboration with seven Cleveland area farmers markets to promote market produce through new vendor support, marketing, and education classes. And growohio.org aims to connect you to our local food system. Whether you're looking for information about buying, selling, eating, growing, or collaborating around local food. We participated in the Summer Sprouts program through the Ohio State University Extension Office. So far, we have grown a variety of tomatoes and peppers. The community has definitely enjoyed our garden in the summer months, and we hope to replace the processed food in our cafeteria with our natural organic ingredients. We would also like to thank Coles AT for their monetary support. Uh, recently, we've, we've built for uh, Case Western Reserve University, the Cleveland Botanical Gardens, uh, we've also built for the Cuyahoga County Board of Developmental Disabilities, and we've built for a number of private operations as well, Wonder City Farm in Seville, Ohio, Bumbleberry Farm in Oberlin, Ohio, Gray Fox Farm in Hudson, Ohio, and we have a number of other projects uh, to build here before the winter. Dovetail Solar and Wind has installed over one megawatt of solar power in Ohio. Bold Alternatives has installed over 300 kilowatts of solar. Parker Hannafin has come up with a vehicle energy recovery system that can save up to 70% of uh, miles per gallon on delivery vehicles. The City of Cleveland has partnered with First Energy Suburbs to install solar panels on businesses and residences. Hi, I'm John Reedy. To date, our group's major accomplishment is a partnership with Architecture 2030, a national movement to accelerate energy conservation and reduction in carbon emissions in the built environment. We have identified Lewis Center at Oberlin College and the PNC Smart Home at the Natural History Museum as models for future commercial and residential development within Greater Cleveland. In the area, we have identified four districts where we hope to find partners for our mission. Downtown Cleveland, University Circle, 271 Corridor, and Rockside Road. 
If you're a building owner or a building occupant or a facilities manager in one of these districts, we hope to hear from you soon. So far, 32 organizations have committed to a zero waste goal and many others are participating in our working groups and our learning programs to help them set game plans and uh, develop goals. We encourage local people to become wave makers with us. One of the ways to become a wave maker is by kicking the bottled water habit. We think that by reconnecting people to water that they drink every day, we can then encourage bigger things to happen. Our group's been busy over the last couple of years uh, educating the public and working toward breaking ground on projects that will improve water quality in our region. In addition, we have been building a foundation around which we can collaborate on sustainable water here in Northeast Ohio. We've had several significant wins. Chief among them, we believe the Ohio Department of Transportation is increasingly looking to incorporate cycling and pedestrian interest into their projects, including the Lorraine Carnegie Bridge and the Abbey Avenue Bridge, where there'll be some significant cycling opportunities. We also uh, believe that we've had some progress here with the bike rack, the bike commuter facility here for the city of Cleveland, where people will be able to ride their bike to work, shower, change, and be off to their desk quickly and conveniently. We have experienced many wins over the last several years. I'll just share a few. I think the biggest win uh, is really about the movement. Looking at the large number of groups, the consortium that's come together uh, to work on vacant lands. We have nonprofit groups, for-profit groups, uh, the city of Cleveland, uh, the county is involved, as well as many, many grassroots organizations all coming together uh, to do vacant land projects throughout the city of Cleveland and actually spreading out into the region. Um, some other wins, uh, under the leadership of Neighborhood Progress, we ha now have 52 new vacant land reuse projects in the city of Cleveland. Those are new gardens, new green spaces, and new native planting areas. Our first project is the Green Your Block Energy Efficiency Challenge, which encourages residents to work on their block with their neighbors to do simple things to make their homes more efficient. And the winning prize is contribution to your block club to do your projects. Green Dots chose the Buckeye Woodland Shaker area to concentrate the efforts in finding the best of the best of the organizations that exist there with help from organizations such as the Buckeye Area Development Corporation, we've been able to implement the Harvey Rice Learning Library Garden, as well as the Imperial Memorial Peace Garden in the area. As well, at the Harvey Rice Branch, we now have a sustainability table and an area where the patrons are now able to find out about the sustainability movement, to learn more about being green, and to reduce their waste. So, there's a lot of good things going on with Green Dots. We're very proud to have several successful projects under our belt this year. We worked really hard to develop a brand standards manual for the 2019 logos, which is now available for all the working groups online and in print format. We also coordinated the selection of a graphic design company to design the Celebration Year logos. And the logos were of such high quality and so creative that they were given an award by the Cleveland chapter of the American Institute of Graphic Arts this year. Our win over the past two years was the completion of our feasibility analysis. In our feasibility analysis, we took the time to talk to professionals in both the financial lending industry and the technology industry so we could better understand the risk associated with making loans to this population. As a result, we have concluded that there's a great need for financial literacy and startup dollars. Our successes so far have been we have reached over um, a thousand Clevelanders and about 60 learning labs that we've had all around town in businesses, schools, community groups, people's living rooms, public parks, bars, anywhere people can come together to get a little snippet of this stuff. It'll leave you feeling energized, engaged, and alive. The idea is that the more people that learn this, um, this science, 
Um, we can affect change on the ground, in neighborhoods, in schools, in businesses, all across this city system of Cleveland. Our current wins this year, we've been able to attract five secure businesses in the Galleria with two on the way. That would be seven businesses within the year, all with a sustainable message. We're so, so happy that we've been able to do that and we look forward to you joining our group so that you can help us develop our, our plan. First, we created SmartDart. It's an intuitive tool that gives companies a snapshot of where they stand on their sustainability efforts. It visually maps their opportunities, it targets the right resources, and then tracks their efforts along the way. What do we need? We need you to stop by our table during the World Cafe rounds. I know you live, work, or play in a building, so it should be important to you. We also need some additional funding for the Northeast Ohio Regional Energy Alliance. We've secured that one grant that I mentioned, but we need more, and we need some funding for the building performance link so we can actually publish that on multiple sites so everyone can benefit. And we really need everyone to give up their case stories. We need you to provide your data in terms of what you've done to retrofit your building and how you've changed your behavior so we can make that persuasive argument argument for all of Northeast Ohio why they need to go green. So seal it tight, ventilate it right, reduce your consumption, and we love you Cleveland. Our next steps are to get more financial support and volunteer and partnership assistance in uh, developing a Buy Eat Local food campaign and a pilot restaurant award program. Want to help? We are currently looking for individuals and groups interested in helping in the expansion of our garden. If you are interested, please contact Cleveland Early College High School. Students at John Hay can get involved by joining our environmental club after school. Other members of the community can get involved by not picking our vegetables. So Tunnel Vision Hoops, what are we trying to do moving forward here? We're trying to basically become the resource in Northeast Ohio for urban farmers, community gardens, and backyard gardeners when they're trying to extend the season. Uh, backyard kits exist. Uh, look at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History coming forward for the next 15 months. They're gonna carry our hoop house. Uh, they want to embrace backyard gardening. There's 70 million homeowners approximately. If each of those homeowners had a backyard garden that's 10 foot by 10 foot, that's tons and tons of food that can be produced locally. We need people who can write checks. But also, we need infrastructure, we need materials, we need plastic, we need metal, we need tools, we need all those things that help making building these things a reality. We also need people, we need the people to actually do the work and build the structures over our fields. So what we really need is corporate Cleveland, we need financial Cleveland, we need philanthropic Cleveland to step up and help agricultural Cleveland become a national leader in the year-round local food movement. If we're gonna feed ourselves, we need to help ourselves. With your help, we can do that. One of the most important things we need is for people to vote, 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 this year and next. And we need more volunteers to communicate standards and tools that are available to the owners and design teams. Well, we need the resources, we need human capital, we need volunteers to help us communicate to the laboratories. We need individuals to help us market to the different companies. We need these things very badly because we're a small work group, but we do have the potential to actually change our region. Moving forward, we are encouraging more businesses to declare a zero waste intent supported by a sound strategy that will reduce their waste stream. Our vision for 2019 is to have a thousand Northeast Ohio organizations committed to zero waste. Let's make it happen. If you feel your place of work could benefit from a focused effort on waste reduction, come talk to us during the summit or visit our website. We encourage people locally to become wave makers with us by kicking the bottled water habit, volunteering at a beach cleanup, inviting us to come speak with your school or community group, and then give back and share our water richness across the globe. We're very lucky to have the Great Lakes around us, and we're very lucky to have a tap to turn on. So let's share our water richness, act locally and globally. Volunteer and become a wave maker with us. 
As we look forward to 2019, our group has some pretty lofty goals, which include the sewer district eliminating nearly 2 billion gallons of pollution from entering our waterways in a typical year. Included with that are some exciting green infrastructure projects. By 2019, the Port Authority will be hoping to have a sustainable, beneficial reuse for the nearly 1 million cubic yards that are dredged from the Cuyahoga River on an annual basis right now and placed into landfills within our Lake Erie. By 2019, our Cleveland Metro Parks will be well on their way toward implementing their 2020 centennial plan for the Emerald Necklace, which includes a lot of exciting sustainable components. And by 2019, the Freshwater Innovation Alliance, through the support of the Gunn Foundation, will be promoting regional water research, economic development around water, and again, community outreach and education, placing water in our region into the spotlight that it deserves as our region's biggest asset and the thing that gives Cleveland a competitive advantage. By 2019, we're looking for a public transportation system that accommodates all users, bicyclists, pedestrians, and motorists. We want it to accommodate people of all incomes, ages, as well as skill levels, where they can safely and conveniently move from one mode of transportation to another, and also a system that integrates real-time information where they can make their trips efficiently and conveniently. Another big goal by 2019 is seeing the towpath trail completed to downtown as well as all the neighborhood and community connectors to it completed. And finally, we want to see the Complete and Green Streets uh, Ordinance producing all kinds of new accommodations for bicyclists and pedestrians throughout the city. There are literally hundreds of ways where you can get involved in vacant land reuse throughout the city of Cleveland and the region as a whole. The best way to find out how you can get involved is go to reimaginingcleveland.org, check it out, sign up for a profile, check out the projects that are happening in your neighborhood, check out the people that are doing work in your neighborhood or across town, find someone and volunteer. Last year our work group did the hard part, figuring out our vision and deciding to focus on sustainability as a way to engage neighbors with their neighborhood. Now we're on to the fun part, designing grassroots projects using the celebration years as a theme and bringing people together around those projects. So we need your help to do that. Our group includes planners and community organizers, agency representatives and residents and you would fit right in. So please, plant your roots in Cleveland, help us grow. We need people that understand brand strategy, marketing, messaging, writing, and design. We need people that can help us execute. We also need financial resources for projects that require the involvement of paid professionals. And we need your help to get the word out about the Communications Resource Group. In 2019, SECURE has the goal of being able to provide support for 50 sustainable businesses within the city of Cleveland. We are looking for experts within the technology field and the financial lending industry to help bring our SECURE model to reality, and we encourage you to join us today. What we need from you is engagement. Uh, we are looking to bake SOMO into as many existing um, initiatives going on in this town, and there are tons of great ones. Um, we can come in and help take what's already good and make it better by helping people learn how to think differently, create new neural connections in their heads, which get us all more of what we want, more health, more wealth, more joy, more love. And the time is now. Um, we invite you to be a part of our group, and together we can co-create um, good stuff here in this town. Uh, our group is really a learning community and we're operating in a spirit of open innovation because we don't know where the next best idea might come from. So if you meet us in person or you connect with us online, um, everybody's welcome to our party. Roll up your sleeves, share your time and talent because we need our collective wisdom to make Northeast Ohio a leader in SDM2.